chocolate lovers, you're not going to like this. Thanks to a cocktail of tropical diseases and global warming, along with a surging sweet tooth in China and India, the treat you love is going to get a lot more expensive. And that's the good news. Because in the future, chocolate is also going to taste like cardboard. Or maybe dirt. My name is Mark Schatzker, and there's only one thing I care about. Flavor. Where does it come from? What does it mean? And where can I get it? And if you want to get a sneak peek at how things could unfold for chocolate, take a look at Costa Rica. Back in 1978, a disease called Frosty Pod began infecting cacao trees, which produce cocoa beans. Within a few years, the crop was devastated. That's when a local research organization called Cotier began breeding new varieties of cacao to resist the devastation of Frosty Pod. This is what's known as agricultural improvement. And what could be better than improved chocolate? A lot, because agricultural improvement has this funny habit of not living up to its billing. When we breed crops for things like disease resistance or better productivity, we always lose flavor. Chocolate, in other words, is set to enter the same bland hell as all those other foods that used to taste good but don't anymore, like chicken and strawberries and tomatoes. Only, not this time, because Cartier thinks big when it comes to flavor. Every time they developed a new variety resistant to the ravages of Frosty Pod, Cartier asked a very simple but important question. Do these beans still taste like chocolate? A lot of them, it turned out, tasted like dirt. They were thrown out. But some of them still possess those roasty, sweet, floral, and fruity flavor notes that make chocolate so irresistible. A few years ago, Cartier sent two of its most promising varieties to the Salon du Chocolat in Paris. They were Frosty Pod proof. They produced five times as much cocoa beans as regular trees. And each one won a Cocoa of Excellence Award for flavor. Thanks to Cartier, the future of chocolate can indeed remain delicious. Now, if only they could figure out how to make chicken taste like chicken again. <laughs>